What is going on guys, Drifter 458 here and today welcome back to the crew for the second episode of the day, possibly the last, I'm not too sure. But anyway, I have stopped off at this Mexican restaurant if I can find it. <laughs> Very lovely food, I had some tackles and everything, so yeah. We are in Monument Valley, I know we're in the Navajo Trail right now, but that is where we're going today guys, Monument Valley and if we have time, Seattle, so... I know a lot of people have been asking me to go to Seattle, so um, I'm not going to do Red Rocks because it kind of is really, really similar to Monument Valley because I hear a train. I hear a train coming. Oh, it is. I'm in an American road movie now. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, open decline because we're going to Monument Valley, bitches. Oh, dear. A female, dear. <laughs> But anyway guys, the thing I wanted to talk about in this episode is the features that I would like to see added into the game for when it's out that are not in at the moment. And number one on my list is a photo mode. Now, I've been trying to get thumbnails for the videos for the past few days. It has been quite a pain to do that, so... Uh, what? Is he following me? Is that guy following me? I don't know if he is. No, he hasn't. Uh, but yeah, it has been quite a pain in that, but if there was like a separate photo mode, like... Let's just say GTA Online, for example. That's an online game, and that's got um, like photo modes in it. Um, Test Drive Unlimited One and Two had photo modes in it, and that was a basically the exact same as this multi um, MMO. Let's just say that. So I would really, really love if there was like a photo mode, because I mean, it's the ideal ideal game for it, because it's got so much good variety, as I've been saying in the videos. Um, there's so many breathtaking landscapes, because look at that! That freaking mountain over there, there's that thing, <laughs> big rock, but it's unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. So please, Ubisoft, bring in a photo mode, because the amount of things that you could do with that would be unreal. Really, really would be. Plus, it helps out YouTubers a big time. Really, really does. Um, also, I would like to see like a club system, like I mentioned in the last video, like a club system slash cruise club, I feel what I mean, because something similar to the car meets on Forza Horizon 2, because um, obviously now in Forza Horizon 2 you're going to be able to get 1,000 club members, so I would like it to be something like that, where you can get like 1,000 maybe more on PC uh, and Xbox and stuff like that and the PS4. Um, but it really, really, really would be cool because I'm aware you're only allowed four people in a crew. Personally, I would like if they extended that, but obviously you don't have to bring in eight people for a mission. Let's just say you're in a co-op mission and you only really want four people, or the mission only requires four people. Then you can only take, you can choose four people out of your crew. That'd be really, really cool. Um, but for like in terms of cruising and that, I know you might be thinking, EK, you can just like find your friends on the map and that start cruising with them. Yeah, I get your point, but if you want people that you don't talk to a lot to be in your club and that, they're basically fans of you. Well, I'm speaking by a YouTuber's perspective here. Because <laughs> I know a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, I can't wait to play the game with you guys. And seriously, I can't as well, because it's going to be absolutely mental when it comes out, as I've been saying. Uh, but yeah, like a sort of club system would be really cool. And also, um, no one's really been talking about the music. I've been really the only one that's been talking about the music, uh, like proper in depth. But um, they've got several radio stations right now. Obviously, I can't play them. Uh, there's ones like K Beef. There's Coda, which is basically like an electronic dance music. They've got atmospheric songs. They've got classical songs. Blowing Rise of the Valkyries in this, in this man. Rise of the freaking Valkyries, that's the dun 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 that's in it. Freaking epic when you're flying down a highway. It's awesome. Uh, but I would really like them to bring in like a country, like a country and western sort of um, station because it's America. You've got to have a country and western station and granted not a lot of people like it outside of Europe but I'm actually a big fan of it. I quite like it because I listen to people like for the Georgia line now. Granted, they're not proper country like dun 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 or something like that. But um, I know there's different categories of country. There is like like yeehaw and stuff like that. But um, and then there's like chart country, which is for the Georgia line, which is more modern day country. 
because I've got their full album, it's absolutely astonishing, really really is, so tell me in the comments guys, what sort of country music do you listen to, if you listen to it, my favourite by far is Florida Georgia Line, I like some um, Cheryl Crow songs I believe, because she done a song for Cars, the movie, it was pretty damn cool, I like that, um, and that, f that rock is floating, what the fuck, okay, that's weird, um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of country singers that I like, uh, Steve Arrow, he's really good, obviously for Copperhead Road. I'm surprised they didn't bring that in to the crew, because that would be the ideal game for it. Always a, a black Dodge Charger, and then that's us. Uh, but yeah, I can't, can't really think of any other features, because I've been trying to think for the past 20 minutes or so, because they're the ones that pop straight into my head, but it's absolutely mental the amount of things that you can bring into this game, because I'm aware still that I'm going to be updating the game every three months with new cars and like improvements on like graphics, glitches and stuff. But it'd be cool if they added in new modes as well, like GTA Online. Look at that sun. That is the one thing I love as well in this game. It's just like the weather. But I don't think I've seen it rain yet. If it does rain, I'm not too sure if it does rain in this game. Oh my god, yes! Oh ho ho ho! My god. How long we've got left? 2.7 miles. God, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <laughs> that was basically 14 miles we've driven. And it feels like it's only been like 2 minutes. It's actually been 6 minutes, which is crazy. But um, I, a lot of you guys were pointing out in the previous episodes that um, I actually left the frames per second recorder thing on the screen by accident, it was an accident, I was recording in the wrong mode, I was recording in, in like the computer screen mode, not the game mode, so apologies for that, but not a lot of people noticed it, I hope, <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, um, man, um, what was I going to say, yeah, I have been trying to save up to get some more cars and that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get a new car by the time Friday rolls around, but I'll try my best to you guys, but I'm not promising anything. Because um, after I record with Black Panther tonight, I'm going to try and do some PvP missions so I can bring a new car fresh on Friday. <laughs> For the only day. Damn it. But you get, you guys can suggest in the comments, what do you want me to get? I've got two mines here. I'm thinking about getting the Golf because that is a little small four-wheel... I think the GTI is four-wheel drive? Is it? No, it's front-wheel drive. I'm thinking of the R. That's four-wheel drive. And... Um, or the R34 Skyline, uh, I know a lot of people have been seeing to me get that, but I kind of don't want to copy Black Panther, because uh, he's going to be getting one, even though I love the R34 to bits. Um, I'm, tri I'm really interested in the Charger SRT8 in this game, because it's the 2012 edition, I believe, which is really, really cool. I might do it up like the Super B, because it looks awesome. I really, really do like the Super B. Oh, shit! Woo! That's a bit crazy. That's cry cry. Oh yeah, I keep saying that now. Uh, but yeah, um, where else could we go? That's El Paso. Are we in like Mexico? No, we're not in Mexico, but it's in like the Mexican state now. Um, coastal plains, Big Bend, swamp. We've been there already. Um, now I'll show you where Indianapolis, guys. The Indianapolis is, guys, because um, I've been trying to get into it, but I don't know if any other YouTubers are out there that are watching this. Please tell me, because. I can't get into Indianapolis because it keeps on glitching out for like, well, it keeps on crashing. It kept on doing that with Sebring, but the only place that doesn't really do that, which I've not showed you yet actually, um, is Golden, Golden something Raceway, I think it's down here. Golden Hills Racetrack, now this is a nice little racetrack like this guys, so we're going to jump on this one. Um, this isn't Willow Springs, I was kind of disappointed because um, I thought it was, but... It isn't. I don't think it is, at least. Uh, hardcore fans of Willow Springs could tell me, but... Anyway, we're gonna jump... Oh, shit. No! Damn it. We're gonna jump into the Chevy Camaro, yeah? We're gonna do champagne. We're gonna do champagne? Okay, there's a jamming voice coming about. Anyway, um... I might actually make a dirt version of the Camaro as well, because... For the road trip, we're gonna need, like... A dirt version of the 370, which I've got, and a dirt version of this, so... Let's see if we can get the arse out. Come on. Come on, baby! I don't even know if I'm going the right way, but... <laughs> Fuck it! <laughs> Fuck it, we're going this way. 
go and cop it. View for the track. The, I probably have to say this is my favourite track in the game, apart from Mazda Gunaseka, because it's quite a good little track. It's in the middle of the desert and stuff, but uh, I like Sebring as well, but it just doesn't capture the magic of it. Um, I know you might be saying, oh, Mazda Gunaseka doesn't do that. Personally, I think it does, but the corkscrew was quite funny. <laughs> it was quite funny, but... <laughs> still, I can see why they done it because it's not a proper simulation game like Forza. You still want to have like some safety barriers around it, but this one, I like it. I really, really do like it because it's not that challenging. Let's see. Oh, yes! There we go. Oh, oh -hoo -hoo! I did not mean that. Did not mean that at all. Now, that's the one thing that I want Forza to do. Make the tire walls, um, make the tire walls explode like that because it's never done that before, it's like freaking solid walls. Because Grid does it, this does it, surprisingly. Um, so, it's going to be mental if Forza 6 ends up doing that. Uh, but tell me in the comments guys, what are you more excited for? The Crew or Forza Horizon 2? Now, this I can guarantee is going to start a war in the comments, but I really, really hope it doesn't. So don't go raging, just put your opinion down below. Just saying, oh, I'm interested in Forza Horizon 2 or The Crew. Personally, now that I've played the crew, it's the crew all the way, seriously, because um, cause my opinion on it is basically the crew is for fun, exploring, going off road with your friends, but Forza Horizon 2 is about the petrol head experience, like, obviously you can customise your car in Forza, but in the crew, it's more focused on, like, um, the RPG's perspective of things, like, um, Sticking with one car and upgrading it and upgrading it and upgrading it. Because in Forza, you can get a new car very, very easily. You can even win new cars. But in this, I like the way they've done it. They've properly like, um, made you stick with one car. But at the same time, it does take quite a while to get some money. But anyway, did I go to Seattle? I'm sure I went to Seattle. I'm not too sure. No, I've not. I've not went to Seattle, guys. So we're going to go up there right now. That is the one place that I need to show you. Because this bit is very gorgeous, it really, really is really nice in the the daytime because well, obviously it's about 10, 23 p.m. in the game. But as I says, it shows the night time a hell of a lot more so if they could fix that for the game, much appreciated. Really, really would be because you only see, the game shines in the day basically so here we are, we're in Seattle, oh yes. Um, I'm not really, as I said, I'm not that cultured on the US but I do know some big cities like Seattle and um, like New York, Chicago, all the big main ones, if you know what I mean. Ooh, what's that over there? Ooh, that's pretty cool. We're gonna go over there and see what that is. Yes. Oh, come on, Camaro. Now, um, in terms of noise, uh, I'm trying to think what's the best car that I've actually driven in the beta, because you guys have been seeing me test drive some of the cars in the beta now, I might actually do that in this episode because we've only really been going on for like 13 minutes, so we might be doing that. Oh, yes! Oh my god, oh Jesus! Oh, 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 oh my god, ow! Ow, ow, ow! I mean, some of the cities are way more crowded than others because I wouldn't expect Seattle to be this busy, but we might take you on a cruise actually down to down on the west coast. I love that song. If they bring in Lana Del Rey to this game, I would be, it would be heaven for me. It really would be heaven because it has that sort of Lana vibe. Because you've got to play that song where on the west coast. Right, where am I going then? Because this is the road that I went down last night all the way down here. Down to San Francisco. Take me down to San Francisco. Oh yes. Now, um... Oh, what was the thing I was going to say? Um, there's so much to talk about in this game, guys, that you forget. <laughs> you forget you're just lost in the moment. You really, really are, because um, once this game comes out, I guarantee it's going to fly off the shelves. It really, really will, because I don't think there's going to be another racing game for several years that is even going to get close to this for map size. It really, really won't, because... Um, for map size, customization, detail, for basically just about everything. For handling, I uh, met Forza Horizon 2 were probably a bit better, but for considering the games, if you know what I mean, uh, Horizon 2, as I said, is more petrol head paradise, let's just say that. It's more petrol head paradise, um, but 
this is more fun, if you know what I mean? Like, this is more fun, action-packed racing and stuff like that, so... Don't be wrong, it is a paradise, but it doesn't have the same vibe as Horizon. It really does. This looks a lot better in the daytime, guys, because we're basically going through the little woods and stuff here, and then it takes you down to this little coastal town. I might actually fast forward it a second down here. Here we go, north coast. Down on the north coast. <laughs> that doesn't suit it at all. Um, but yeah, there's still tons of this map that I need to unlock, guys, because, as I said, a week isn't enough. A week is not enough. It's Camaro, man. I mean, I think I'm going through this Top Gear phase, and I'm glad, as I said about five minutes ago, they made you stick with one car, because it makes you fall in love with it. It's that sort of Top Gear special feel, because I'll take the US special, for example, where Jeremy bought his Camaro, uh, for example, and someone just sent me a message, I don't know who that is, but anyway, um, I take Jeremy example with his Camaro. Uh, he basically fell in love with it at the end of it, um, so yeah, it's the exact same feeling, I've been driving this Camaro since the start, my first car in the game, and on Friday I'm going to be very, very sad to see it go, because the one thing I would like for the next beta, if it is, like, another closed beta, really, really hope it's soon, like, within the next month or something, um, I would really, really, really like if we actually got to save our progress and we could start, uh, from where we are now, because... If it lets us do that, um, if it lets us actually do that, that would be very, very cool because that means we'll still have cars to drive straight off the bat. We can just jump anywhere on the map. But the one thing I would like to suggest to Ubisoft, for the people in the beta, I know this isn't going to exactly be fair to the people that haven't got the beta, but for the people in the beta, um, now obviously I've taken part in most of the missions, right? Uh, it's just the last mission I think I'm on right now, but it glitches out all the time when I go on Indianapolis. Um, but, for the people who have done all the missions and that, do you think it would be quite a good idea if we could start where we've already started? Now, I'm not too sure if the start of the beta was the actual start of the game in real life, so... Uh, I don't know, because if we need to go through it all again, I'm not complaining, I'm really, really not complaining, because I would easily do that, I would really easily do that, but, I mean, it'd be, it'd be really, really, I wouldn't say annoying, but if I had to go through upgrading the cars again, and stuff like that, it'd be kind of, let's just say it, annoying, because we basically put the hard work in the beta, now I'm aware um, that, that basically that's the whole point, of meant to put hard work into the game, so, at that point I'm not really complaining that much, but, yeah, I was so glad to do it again anyway. I was so glad to do it. But look at this. Look at this little harbour town and stuff. We're on the Bodega Bay, I think that's how you call it. That. The Bodega Bay. You can see the San Fran Bridge as well. The Golden Gate Bridge, oh yes. I mean... It's just like one big movie, this game. It really is one big movie. It really is. Now, I'm tempted to get the Mustang for... Um, the cruising video to make it like beauty from NFS the movie because if we can fit the stripes to it we basically can because they've got the exact same stripes as it um, on the Camaro but it might need to space out a bit hello who's that don't know who the hell I whoa okay what the hell happened there I've got no idea what happened there but yeah um, basically what we're doing now we need to just go, I'll take you sand fan guys, that is it, but this is the most coolest part, look at this, little cool town, it kind of reminds me of the south of France for some reason this wee bit, because they have like, little harbour towns as well, um, with little boats and stuff, so, we're going to drive up this way, oh shit, sorry, <laughs> sorry whose friends that was, I didn't mean to do that, I'm sure this is the way to the bridge, really I'm sure, we'll go back and cop out of you guys, because, I know a few of you have been wanting to see a lot more cockpit views, so... Anyway, um... But yeah, also tell me in the comments, guys, would you like to see a lot more convertibles in the game? I would like to see more... Personally, I would love to see, like, um... Like an old... Like a Viper convertible or something. Because I'm not actually too sure if the Viper's in the game. Um, I, need, I need to look into that, because... I've not seen one so far. I've really not seen one so far. It probably would be, probably would be, because 
Um, if it's the 2013 one, I'll be happy. Really, really would be. But um, I actually really like the SRT10 convertible. But oh, oh, that's something to talk about on the subject of the Viper and convertibles. If you've been watching Fastlane Daily, you'd have seen that this in-house tuner company or something like that. I believe their name's Pre Pre something. I don't know what it is, but they basically took the top off of the new 2014 Viper. So, even before SRT done it themselves, which is absolutely crazy, and it looks gorgeous, it really, really cuts, but it's not as good as the name. It's not as good as the name, because... Is that town's name Eureka? Oh my god, Eureka! Oh my god. But yeah, um... Yeah, uh, what was I saying? Damn, I've lost my trail, I thought. Yeah, it's the Viper, right? Um, it's not as cool as the name, though, because the name that they've given it is called Medusa. Now that is a badass freaking name right there, cause um, Medusa, if you're unaware, was this like mythical god thing, uh, this woman, and she had snake for hair, like snakes for hair. Now Viper is a snake, obviously, so it really, really goes well with it. Really, really do like the decision they made for that. But anyway, we're on the San Francisco Bridge now, guys. Freaking awesome, freaking freaking awesome. So. I'm trying to think of the areas that we still got to explore, cause- Oh god, there's another person! Hi there, mate, how you doing? I think he's gonna follow me. Yes. Oh, he's one of my friends, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Jesus. God damn, San Fran looks good at night. It really does look good at night. We're gonna need to go to, like, some jumpy roads. Here we go, come on, come on, come on, power, 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 power! Please jump, please jump, please jump, please jump! That was a sad excuse for a jump. Drift it, drift it, drift it. Yes. Cause I only showed you a bit of San Francisco in the first episode. Um, but I think it deserves a wee bit more. Plus it's kind of good to see what it's like compared to Driver San Fran. Cause these hills, I can tell you right now, do not compare to like the proper gradient of San Fran. Like, um, oh I need to go down this road again guys, I really do. This is like the perfect road, I love it. Well not the perfect road, but you know what I mean, it's a fun road to drive down. We need to get some drifting into this. I mean, as I said at the start of the episode, if they do implement very, very good drifting physics, he's just, <laughs> he's just overtaking, well not overtaking, but going off road to go in. Oh God. What a way to end off this episode, guys. So, thank you so much for watching again, guys. I might not end it here, actually, because I want to show you the map right now for the bits that I need to actually still explore, so. As you can see, all the outlines in that, uh, in like the deserty colours are the bits that I've been to, so I've not really been here. We still need to go to Washington, I know a lot of people have been saying that. Uh, we need to go to Forest Hills, Nashville, um, where else along here? Um, White Mountains, Salem Woods, Acadia. Um, I'm sure I've been to New York, yeah I've been to New York. Uh, let's see, where else? Cause just suggest in the comments guys, cause I'm just showing you right now where we need to go still. Um, I can't really get into here cause it kinda like glitches out all the time so still got to go to the Rockies, uh, Lake, Ta Lake Tahoe is in this game? Oh my god I didn't even know that, damn, I only know that cause of Top Gear. Um, but yeah San, Bernard San Bernardino Pass, where have I heard that? Um, have I heard that on Top Gear? Where is that? The San Bernardino Pass? I'm sure it is. I need to go there, guys. I need to go there in the next episode. So, we're going to be going to the San Bernardino Mountains. And also, we'll be going to Washington, D.C. So, make sure you subscribe to see that. And leave it a like if you enjoyed this episode. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.